in late 1949, the government also began to think about sending up a, a group to task for England, where they, they had a festival of Britain, I think in 1951. So in early 1950, they started orchestrating an all-star band to go to London. And in 1949, I don't know, it was recommended by Olive Walk and Edric Connor and Beryl McBurney and a lot of different distinguished people from the island. The early man is developing an art form for the nation, a musical instrument. So we should offer him a scholarship. And I don't know how it was orchestrated and who did what, but I was called into the governor's mansion and, and the botanic garden out there in Trinidad by the Grand Savannah. And, uh, and Sir Hubert Brown said to me, it was recommended that you should be awarded a scholarship. Do you know any music? I said, no, sir. He said, do you have high school? I said, yes. He said, well, we'll have to send you to London to study music. And because uh, the nation feel that <coughs> you deserve a, a scholarship. I said, no, I'm not taking the scholarship. I want to give it up the time. At the time, when they offered me the scholarship is when a lot of ideas was in my mind as to how to do this job, how to make it what it is. And if I just felt in my, as a young man, I was, what, 20, only 20, 21, 20, I don't know. Uh, they said to me, I said to myself, if I go to England to take a scholarship, it might take me eight years, six years, ten years to get a doctorate or whatever. And I will then abandon all the ideas that I have in my mind. There's no way we're not having any influence in England about steel drum. I'm not having the flexibility to get a drum anywhere to go in and come back here to beat on a to beat on a steel a, a trash can. There's no way that I will be able to continue this what I ventured into. So I will either follow the steel drum and its creativity, or if not, take the scholarship. And I made a choice as a young man. I don't want the scholarship. I want a steel drum. You're not working, you're in the family don't want to see you hardly, in the neighborhood don't want you because you're worthless, you give up a scholarship to beat on trash cans, so therefore they call you a vagabond, they call you a bad John, and they call you no ambition, and they don't want to see you. So why are you doing this? You understand? And what something was driving me to do it. And there was some inner sense that was saying you keep going, you just keep going, you're going to make this work. 